What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Glamrock Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's. Let's get started in the center of our page with the nose. So we start over on the left side. We're gonna draw a curve that goes up and back down on the right. Let's connect the ends with another curve that comes down and then up. And I'll fill the inside of the nose in black. Let's go to the side of the nose and round out the muzzle. We start over on the left and go out and then bend that down. And do the same thing on the right. Now from here it's going to curve down and up towards the center. Down and bend that up. Go down and up on the right side. And it'll split the muzzle in half. Starting from the middle, draw a straight line going up underneath the nose. Now we're going to draw the eyes in behind the muzzle. Let's start from the side of the nose, curve in, and then back out. Go to the right side, and do the same thing. Now I'm going to round out the socket. Starting from the top, go out, around, and then in toward the side of the muzzle. Let's draw two large circles for the eyeballs. We're going to tuck this in behind the inside edge of the socket. Let's start on the top left, curve up, around, and then pull that in. Let's line this up on the right, going up, down, and then in. And then we'll fill the outside of the sockets in black. Let's add another circle along the inside for the arms. Start from the left side, go all the way around, down, and then in. And then on the top left side of each iris, we're going to draw a small circle for highlight. And we'll draw that same size circle in the center of the iris for the people. Let's start underneath the highlight, go all the way around, and then out and it will fill the peoples in black. Let's go to the side of the eyes and draw a curve that goes out and then up towards the side of the head. And it will round out the cheeks and then come in towards the bottom corner of the muzzle. Let's start back on the left, put it out, down, and then in. Let's connect the top of the cheeks with a large half circle for the top of the head. We start on the left, and go up, round up the head, go across, and then down on the right. And now we're going to add those markings across the face. Starting in the center, start with a point. I'm just going to curve this up, around the eye, down, and then in toward that seam. Do the same thing on the right. And then from the bottom, curve out and then down towards the side. Come down and in towards the bottom of the eye. Let's move up to the top and add the eyebrow. We're going to start on the outside. We're going to go up in the middle and then bend that down on the inside. Do the same thing on the right. And then we'll fill the eyebrows in black. I'm going to trace this trim along the outside. From the middle, step up, start with another point. So we curve this up and out in behind the eyebrow on either side. Let's continue that trim along the outside, coming down, and round up the side towards the bottom, and I'll pull that straight in with an angled line in behind the side of the muzzle. Let's place the hat in the center of the head. Starting over on the left, start with a short line. Line this up on the right. Close off the top with the same curve of the head. Going up and then down. 
And then from the top corner of the hat brim, step in, draw two straight angled lines, going up and out. Close up the top with a curve, going up and then down. And then we'll add that band. On the left side, step up, add another curve. Let's move out to the side and add in the ears. We're gonna start with the inside trim. On the left side, we're gonna step up, draw a straight angle line, coming down and out. Line this up on the right, and do the same thing. Now we're gonna connect the top and bottom with a half oval. We go up, around, and then back in. Now we're gonna trace the ears along the outside. From the top, step up, Curving up, around, and then back in. And it'll tuck the ears in behind the head. Coming in and up, down and out. Now we do the same thing on the right. We're gonna overlap the earring. Starting from the side of the ear, draw two straight angle lines coming down and out. Close off the end with a curve. Now let's trace the outside. Starting from the top, go all the way around, down and in behind the earring down towards the bottom. That's going to round out the inside going in behind the head. Now we're going to move down and draw on the lower jaw. Let's we'll start from the side. It's going to curve this down and in. And we'll connect the inside with another curve. Coming down, around the bottom, and then back up on the right. Let's move out to the side. Just follow that same curve coming in towards the chin. I'm going to come down a little bit lower in the middle. Pull this down, around, and then back up. Let's add that stripe in the center of the chin. Starting over on the left, draw a straight line, draw another one on the right. Let's add two large fangs along the top. On the left, come down, and then up, and then do the same thing on the right. And then we'll draw the bottom row of teeth. Starting back on the left, go up and out, and back down. Do the same thing on the right. Now in between the bottom fangs, draw a straight line going across, and it'll separate the teeth. Starting with the middle, and we'll add one more line on either side. Let's fill the inside of the mouth in black. Now that we've finished the head, let's move down and draw on the body. We're going to start with the bow tie. Starting underneath the chin, we're going to draw a small half circle. And then from the side, angle down and out toward the left and right. And we'll round out the side of the bow tie, going out and then in underneath the chin. Let's go out to the side, curve the body, going out and then down. Connect the bottom with a curve, coming down the middle and then back up. Now we're going to move in from the bottom corners for the lower torso coming down and in. And again, just drawing that same curve coming down and then up. Let's add that detail in the center of the body. Starting from the left side of that knot, curve out and then down. Draw a straight line going across towards the right. Curve down and then in towards the bottom. Now I'm just going to trace this out. Stepping over, out and down, go straight across. I'm just going to pull that back down and in toward that bottom point. Let's add that trim along the inside of the body. Starting from the left side of the bow tie, go out and then down towards the bottom line. Step in, curve down and in towards the bottom. Let's go to the outside and round out the hips. Rounding out the left and right side and we'll pull this down and in towards the middle. Let's continue working down with the legs. Starting from the center, curve down and out toward the left and right side. Round out the knee, coming down and then up. 
and they'll move back up to the hip and round up the side of the leg. Starting on the left, go out, and then down. Let's go back to the inside, curve in and down towards the heel. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Starting back on the left, curve the foot, coming down and up towards the toe on both sides. Let's go back to the left and draw on the top of the foot. We start out here, curve up. I'm just going to pull this down just on top of the heel. And then going back to the outside of the leg, curve out and down on top of the foot. And then we'll add the hinge. On the outside, step in, draw half circle. Now I'm going to go back and separate out the toes. On the outside, step in, curve up and in, leave the gap, and draw that twice. Now add three small half circles along the bottom for the toning. Now we're going to move back up and draw on the shoulders. From the top of the body, let's step down, curve the shoulder going out and then up. Line this up on the right, do the same thing. And I'm just going to curve this up and in behind the side of the head. Now I'm going to tuck the upper arm in behind the shoulder, starting from the inside, curve down and out on either side. And then we'll round out the arm, going up and out. Pull that up and in behind the shoulder. Now the arm on the left is going to be holding the microphone. So let's start on the outside, curve the forearm going up and down towards the wrist, go down towards the bottom, go down and then up. Let's connect the ends with a curve, from in and then back out. And then we'll wrap the thumb and the fingers around the microphone. Starting from the top, curve up, round up the thumb, down and then pull that back up. And then we'll stack three fingers around the outside. Starting from the side of the thumb, draw a half oval, come down towards the bottom, do that again, and then tuck that up underneath the thumb, and we'll do that one more time. Now we'll draw the microphone above the hand in an angle. So let's start on the outside, angle up and in, step up, draw that twice, close off the bottom, straight angle line, and we'll close off the top. And we'll draw a large circle on the end, starting from the top, go all the way around, and then back in. And we'll go to the center of the microphone, draw two straight lines coming down, starting with the outside, and in behind the thumb. Now we're going to extend these lines underneath the fingers, and all the way down towards the bottom, and then on the inside. Connect the bottom with a curve, coming down and up. And then we'll layer an oval in behind the bottom. Starting on the left side, step up, go out, cross, and then back in on the right. Let's close off the bottom of the hand, starting from the wrist, go down and in behind the microphone, and then we'll add the wristband. Starting at the top, step in, just follow that same curve going around. Then we're going to add some spikes across the wristband. Starting with the outside, we go up and then down, and along the bottom, come down and up, and then add two small circles on the inside. And we'll fill the areas around the spikes in black. Let's move over and draw on the right arm. Starting from the inside of the elbow, go in and out towards the wrist, go to the outside, go out, and then in, connect the bottom with a curve, going up and then out. Let's go back to the inside and draw on the thumb, starting with a half circle, close off the end with a bracket, and we'll curl around three fingers, starting from the bottom of the thumb, come down and up around the bracket, step down, come down and up, and then the third finger will go out and then in toward the outside of the wrist. Let's add in that same wristband. From the inside, we're going to step up, let's follow that curve going out, add the spikes on the outside, 
at two circles on the inside. And then we'll fill the wristband in black. And that's pretty much it. There's Glamrock Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.